Hi everybody, here is Angel J and uh, finally <laughs> I'm making this uh, video tutorial for you in order to understand how to make your own kit, your own letters, your own numbers, import them into the game uh, e Football Pass 2020, obviously for PC only. And um, yeah, uh, I will share with you also new templates, both for the kit, the template of the letters and the numbers. First things first, we need to understand uh, what to do load in order to uh, to make everything work. Okay. Um, I will share with you these four links that basically are uh, these links right here. So um, you need to download the kit server that is a Lua model for Cider 6 by pressing this uh, link right here. The Cider by pressing this link right here. And the uh, Evo Web Patch version 6.0 kit server config. That Basically, you have to find it uh, right here, the structure of the kit server. You can also download all of these uh, uh, links, uh, especially the all-in-one version, part one and part two. And uh, the installations are, uh, are really easy. How to install, there is a, a, a thread right here where you can, uh, a post, sorry, right here, where you can look uh, and uh, find out how to install it. And basically uh, it includes a lot of stuff because uh, this uh, is the evil web patch from the evil web form that mm, maybe it's, it's, it's the best uh, forum for uh, PES 2020, especially for PC users, because there are uh, a lot of uh, new stuff to add to your own game and so on. And then one other thing you need to download is the uh, CGPE uh, version uh, 0 0.7. Uh, there is a button right here, download. And uh, for all of this stuff, uh, I thank uh, uh, Shominator, then uh, Ses Fabregas, uh, Oak, uh, and uh, all the other uh, users that made uh, this uh, uh, EvoWeb patch. And uh, of course, Juice uh, for uh, Cider <laughs> and Kit Server because, guys, Cider maybe is one of the best uh, add ons for your game. Uh, it lets you um, include in the game a lot of stuff that you cannot even imagine. I suggest you to, f to go to this forum, uh, be a part of the community. Don't ask things uh, immediately, just try to find your answers because there are a lot of everything here is explained. Uh, and there is a lot of stuff that is completely free. Everything in here is completely free. So feel free to use this. I repeat, it's only for PC game. So um, as soon as you download uh, uh, all of these files, you will get them uh, in uh, these formats. Just extract them in their folders and uh, before going into the um, into the process of the templates and how to make uh, kids number and phones, let's set this stuff. Okay, first things is to open the kit server uh, uh, folder, copy these two one content and modules, go to cider, oops, go to cider, and uh, as you can see here. We have another content and modules. Just paste the one that you have just downloaded. And uh, uh, yeah, basically they are correctly placed inside the cider. Then go to the cider.ini and uh, go here, for example, and write lua.module equals. And uh, if you, I don't remember it, oops just go to modules and you basically have added this module right here and we have to report this module right here even this list so copy the name paste it close the two brackets and then save it now one other thing to do is go into the kit server configs open it when you see content you can uh, 
basically copy the con oops the content and um, go back to the cider and uh, even here that there is content paste it wait for it to paste all the files inside the content folder and now I will explain to you why you need to do this. When uh, um, it asks you to overwrite files, just agree to that. And now we will see what we just added. Basically, in the kids server folder right here, there is a list of all the leaks and the teams of the game. For example, if I go to national, I can see that there are uh, Albania, Algeria, Brazil, uh, England, uh, Italy, Israel, everyone. So, in, by following this, uh, this guide, you can, of course, add a lot of uh, kids uh, without touching the present ones already, the, the already present in the game. And you need to do that, otherwise, if you add a new kit through the kit server, you may you can overwrite the one in the game. But remember that Cider is something external at the game. So if you don't open Cider, all the files that you have in PES 2020 will be the same as the original one. So you, you don't need to worry about losing content or stuff like that. Uh, this is just an add-on. So basically, if you open Cider, the game will start with it. And then you will have uh, access to all the new features. If you don't open Cider, the game will be the same as ever. Okay, guys, before going into the templates for Photoshop, we need to set up... Uh, Photoshop first. So first of all, download this plugin right here and uh, follow the instructions. You have to download it by clicking right here and then follow the instructions to install this plugin inside uh, your Photoshop. Then one other thing to do after you have uh, done everything right here. Here in Photoshop, we need to install the actions that I made for you. To do that, in the download file that I will share with you in the descriptions, uh, there will be the templates and also um, an action file for Photoshop. To load it, just go to a Window and uh, Actions or press Alt F9 in order to enable this window right here. Then go to Load Actions and just select the file. Go into the Photoshop file and let's start with the kit. I won't go deep into the structure because it's really similar to the one before um, I made in the previous video. And uh, yeah, basically you can change base color. Uh, for example, here, uh, the color will change only on the socks because uh, for example, if I go in design and then I go to shorts, I can see that there is uh, the shorts color enabled, but, but uh, if I disable it, then I can change uh, the color even of the shorts by using the first um, uh, color picker. And uh, yeah, basically there is um, a lot of stuff here in the, in the designs for you to discover and use. But the most important one, I think that is the one present right here in the patches, uh, for example, the sponsor, uh, this is my logo, but you can disable it, of course, and uh, enable one of the one that you want, for example, uh, uh, Jeep or uh, I really, I don't know. Let's go with uh, uh, Jeep, uh, just to, to make an example. If you want to change the color, you can uh, use this one uh, or disable it to use the original color. I will go with uh, this red right here. Okay, perfect. Now, if you want, you can also change uh, the, the brand, for example, Nike uh, or Adidas. And uh, let's go with uh, Adidas. Uh, then uh, here there is the team logo that they are just placeholders. For example, Italy, uh, I need to disable the, the mine first, or uh, Barcelona. This is just placeholder for you to follow. I will go with my, my logo. And uh, 
Then for the stitches, I just made the, this part is the one that where I made most uh, changes. And for this, you can just uh, click here and change the color of the stitches. Uh, of course, you can see a lot from here. Now you should easily see. And uh, yeah, basically, you can change the color at best suits for you. Okay. Now. Uh, what what are the things to do next in order to make our own kit? First of all, there is the alpha channel. As you can see here, I already made one that is Nike, but now we have changed some stuff. So this, of course, will disappear. This will become uh, Adidas. And uh, what is alpha channel? Basically, alpha. Uh, tells the game the parts that should be shiny instead of uh, uh, not shiny. Of course, you don't want your shirt to be uh, reflective, but opaque. And uh, to do that, you just need to paint black the parts that you don't want to be shiny and in white the parts that you want to be shiny. I made an action for that. It, you can find it uh, right here when I will share it when I will share them with you and it's called alpha kit and basically it will take everything that is present in, in the stitches folder and in the patches folder will collapse it and will make an alpha out of it select alpha kit press play and uh, as soon as it finished you can see now that everything is updated and another thing you want to do is to make an SRM kit. The SRM kit basically takes the alpha kit I've just made, so the alpha channel I just made, and it will color it in the way it should be colored. And the SRM instead helps the game to understand which parts should follow the pattern of the kit. Uh, you may not understand what I'm saying right now, and I completely understand this thing, but uh, as soon as we go deep into the game, uh, this will be a lot clearer. So to do that, just press play in the SRM making, and everything is done perfectly fine. And um, it made a new file with uh, all the keys correctly placed. And now what to do? We need to save it, of course. So first thing, let's save the kit. I won't change the colors and stuff. I just want you to follow the basic steps. Then uh, there is a war to do here, I know. <laughs> but just go in File, Save as Name. Choose Intel Texture Works. And then I will save it right here. And uh, I will call it... Uh, tutorial uh, kit without underscore number two because I already made one but uh, uh, I want to to make another one and copy this name you will see why and then press save here now you have to choose texture type color plus alpha PC7 linear and MIP maps make sure that they are on auto generate. Then press OK and let the process finish. Then go back to the SRM file, file, save as name, select Intel Texture Works, and then tutorial kit to underscore SRM and press save. Basically, here you want the same name as here. Press save. Then go to color, PC1 linear, meet maps auto generate, and press OK. OK, now the kit basically is ready. Now we have to go to the letters, for example. And here I made also other actions for you to follow and use. Basically, there is a folder right here called start here. And make sure to start here. <laughs> OK, enable the text. And basically, what you want to do. It's just to select the font you want for your kit. Don't mind the color, 
you can also do that but don't mind it too much choose one font you like for example this one yeah okay seems fine perfect now what you want to do is just go to latest making oh no before that <laughs> you should obviously update the character style you may start with a, a window like that with no but nothing here so just press this button or if you have another one press this button right here but make sure to select all the text press this button right here now the character style is updated with this configuration so the fonts the sides and so on now after you have done that press play on letters making and wait the process to finish okay the process is done as you can see here every letter is placed in its correct position for example, if I go to letter masks right here and uh, control click uh, on this mask right here on Photoshop, you can see that uh, basically every letter is present in its own box. These boxes basically are uh, the parts of, the, of this file that the game will read. And uh, you can uh, increase the size of the letters, for example, and, uh, but I, I don't suggest you to do that uh, when uh, there is not so much space. For example, here the J is really, uh, <laughs> really close to the boundaries of the box, but you can retouch every letter uh, independently. Maybe lower the Q, for example, if I go to Q right here, I can, uh, I will uh, disable this and uh, move this uh, just right here. Okay, perfect. And there is also a mask uh, uh, here where the letters are, are stored. In order for you, I don't know, if you want to change a W, you can see that if I go here, there is this uh, black space that tells you that the box boundaries are are uh, surpassed so don't go over here i will undo that by pressing ctrl z and uh, one other thing you have to do is the alpha channel also for the letter so as you can see here i have an alpha channel that uh, um, it's old and it's for a previous font i made you may want to change this of course because um, the game reads two things, the box of each letter and the alpha channel. And then when the alpha channel is white, basically the game will read everything that is white in here. So, for example, if I draw something uh, right here, in this black space, right here, the game won't read anything unless I paint it in white right here also. So make sure that if you add uh, some stuff to your letters uh, that goes uh, that go uh, out of the character itself, make sure that uh, you have to paint them in white even in the alpha channel. And of course, what we want to do now is to just make the alpha letter channel. So go to alpha letter making action, press play, wait for it to finish. And now if you go to the channel, alpha channel, you can see that now the alpha channel is perfectly correct. Now there is nothing else to do but saving it. And to do that, just save as name, choose again Intel Texture Works uh, DDS and uh, write uh, letters, uh, letters, I will call this letters two, letters maybe. Okay, go to save. Now you want to go to color and alpha, BC7, and uh, even here, this one will be okay. Map maps auto generate and press okay. Now it's time for you us to go to the numbers. For the numbers, it's even easier maybe because there are just nine numbers. The, the, basically it's the same as the letters. There are boxes for each number and then there is the alpha for each number so the game will read everything that is 
present in this box and it's colored in white in the alpha channel. So if I go back to RGB and uh, what you want to do now is just create a new text and um, write some numbers just to have them uh, as an example. It's not important where you put this text uh, just and uh, what what uh, uh, numbers you type in. It's just for you to see the um, the font and maybe you want to change this font to something uh, like uh, I don't know I'm going really random uh, like this maybe okay increase their their sizes I think it's okay and uh, what you want to do now is uh, basically um, go to character style create a new one if you don't have any otherwise you just need to click this one with the text selected and then with this layer selected go to number making press play and wait it to finish okay now the numbers are done and as you can see are uh, correctly placed at the center of their own boxes and again you can add stuff right here you can increase their size you can do whatever you want remember only to if you want to do all uh, all of them together to update the character style and then rerun the action after that you need to press uh, alpha numbers making press play wait it for, for it to finish and now your alpha channel is ready to use. Lastly, it's the saving part that it's basically the same as the letters. Go to Intel Text Your Works DDS, write uh, numbers uh, 2, and press save. This is our the settings color and alpha, BC7, and auto generate MIP maps. Press OK. And now we are done with the creative part. Now it's time for us to install all these uh, files that we've made. Okay, here I made a new folder where I collected all the files that I just made. Of course, this DDS file won't be read by the game, so we need to convert them in FTX format. To do that, just open the CPGE version 0.7 and as soon as you open it, it will ask you to select PSX file. Okay, as soon as you, you find your file, that X, that is placed in the program Steam, Steam Apps, Common, eFootball PES 2020, just select it and double click it. And then it will ask you to select the SiderX file. You can choose it. You can even not use it because it's not it's not important for this uh, tutorial so i will skip this part just enter a profile name i will write uh, angel j and click please enter profile name wait it to load okay as soon as the software opens just go to tools text converter choose material map right here in the texture type press convert right here and uh, and find the files we just made. The files for me are right here in this folder. I will select them all and I will press open. And then as soon as the process uh, ends, it will tell you for FTX created and press OK. Now we can also close this software because we don't need it anymore and uh, go back to the folder where you, your text files are stored. Okay, now what you want to do is to choose which team should have this kit. I will go with Italy. So, uh, yeah, I will go with Italy. So I will go into the folder Cider, Content, Kit Server, and I will find the team I want. For me is National, Italy, and then what we, we need to do is just create a new folder and call it whatever you want. I will go with P4, but you can go also with other names. Okay, uh, let's go with P P4 Tutorial and press OK. Now in the order.ini, here there is P1, P2 and P3. If, if, for you to know, order is basically all the kits that 
a player ma can use while jk order is basically all the kits uh, a goalkeeper can use so here i will write the same name as this uh, and make sure that it's the same so maybe it's better for us to copy this name and uh, paste it uh, right here and uh, and then save then uh, i will just uh, copy this config that text as a as an example it's it's you can also write your own but it's pretty long so i just copy one of uh, that is was already made and paste it into my new folder and I, then i will change everything in the game and uh, but one thing you need to change before going to the game and they are these uh, strings right here so go back to the kit we have just converted okay go back to the cider content folder kit server national italy p4 tutorial paste them right here and now what you want to do is just make sure that each string here it's the same as here so the kit file obviously is this one so copy and paste it there is no need to write uh, that f text you should not write that f text just the name there is no need also to write the srm uh, file because the game will automatically try to find the file right here so you don't need to uh, to paste it again uh, to write this uh, string uh, somewhere uh, right here then for the back numbers file just write this one and as you can see here we we have also a chest numbers file and a leg numbers file i will just write the same in the leg number because i don't want uh, a numbers on my chest and you can also create uh, other uh, two files for the numbers one maybe for the chest and one maybe for the leg and uh, use them uh, right here actually uh, the file is the same so you can use the same template uh, so don't worry about that I, I just made one for both of them but you can create uh, up to three files one for each uh, of these uh, um, string and then for the name font just select the letter so go here and save okay one other thing you can do also and i suggest you to do that otherwise the game will go nuts when <laughs> try to read the colors of your kit is to make sure that the kit colors are correct to do that i will open again photoshop and uh, go for example in the kit and use the pick hole the um, the color picker and for example for the shirt the main color is this one that is not completely white, but this this uh, uh, this color right here. And what you need is the co the X code of the color. For uh, for this uh, kind of whitish color, it's D E D E D E, and you can find right here. Copy this and paste it in shirt color number one, and also in unicolor color number one. While these are the colors for the kids, so um, shirt color one and two shorts and socks here instead uh, they are the color that uh, that will appear on your scoreboard and also the color uh, on your radar mm, i suggest you to use the mm, two most color the, the two most present color in your kit for me obviously it's the white and maybe the yellow of the socks so um I will pick now the yellow of my socks that uh, I think, yes, it's the same of the shorts. I will copy this X code right here and I will put it inside my shorts and the socks. And then there is also the undershirt color. You can basically, some players may use undershirt when it's cold outside and <laughs> you may want them to be the same color of the long sleeves or whatever color you want i will go with the same color of the sleeves so i'll we'll put it uh, d e d e d e and then in shirt color number two i will go maybe with this uh, reddish color right here just just to to give it the correct color but there is no need actually and then save uh, uh, uh paste maybe even here in the unicolor uh, color two um, no maybe i will go with the yellowish color okay now save it and 
we're done yeah we're done now we just need to open the slider so going to your slider folder and uh, open it double click on the x file the game will start will start automatically and you just need to wait to open okay as soon as the game starts i suggest you to go to the edit wait to your edit file to load and then just go to i prefer to do this way go to players uh, edit players and uh, find uh, the team where you have just added your own kit uh, for me is uh, Ali and uh, choose one one casual player doesn't matter okay as you can see here now we have the original kit just press the space bar and the kit server will open now if you press the six on uh, over your letters on the keyboard you can see that I'm changing all the kits and now the kit that I just made is loaded. Now, about the SRM file, as you can see here, the, there is a texture like on the, on the kit, but not on the parts like the sponsor Jeep or my logo. That's because the SRM file makes sure that all if some parts of the kit will uh, acquire the texture of the kit itself the other part will be like um, stickers <laughs> to put it simply and uh, yes and if you press now the two the number two you can see that a new menu appears and you can change a lot of stuff right here for example a lot of new colors more than the one that are available in the classic edit editor of PES. Uh, yeah, you can also change the winter color, for example. And um, of course, you won't you won't see any changes because uh, the one that you will see now is this one. Then you can also change the the appearance, for example, of the kit if you want it to be tight or not and uh, long sleeves uh, if uh, only undershirt, undershirt may be used or not uh, also the name shape if you want it to be straight or, or with an extreme curve and the size of it uh, and the position of it uh, and also for the numbers and uh, both on the of the of the back of the shorts and also the chest if you had one Okay, now I will uh, go to make a new game just to see that it works. <clears throat> okay, now I'm starting a new match. Italy vs Bologna. <laughs> just, just a casual match that occurs every day. And uh, if you go here, as you can see, you cannot find the kit you have just added. And that's because you can only access it by the kit server menu. So press the space bar. Press 6 or Ctrl 6 if you want to go back and find the P4 tutorial kit we've just made together. And maybe change there by pressing 7. But as you can see on the top screen, you will have, you have access to all the info about the, uh, the kit server menu. So what buttons to press and what to not press and then just go to starting match and you will see that the kit, the kit is perfectly installed and it works perfectly fine in the game okay as you can see here the kit is perfectly working i have my new italy kit ready for uh, the european challenge <laughs> and yeah Basically, guys, this is it. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I'm sorry if I made some mistakes, but uh, I'm not an, uh, an English native speaker. So, uh, of course, I made some mistakes. <laughs> some mistakes. And, uh, yeah, remember just to, um, to put a like, maybe, and uh, even some, um, some comments if something is not clear will be appreciated and yeah enjoy your kit making thank you all